NetApp is an interesting small company in technology that pays a high dividend, normally around 4 or 5% per year, but due to the recent price decline, it is above 6% at the moment. And NetApp certainly has long-term growth potential. Please note that these analyses are purely for inspiration for those who do not have access to our tools. We mainly look at quantitative data and not so much at fundamental aspects, meaning quality and intrinsic values. And visit our website to download our free books on ETF and stock investing to see how we analyze stocks. NetApp, at this moment we do not have a position in it ourselves, but it is an interesting small company with a market value of around 350 million. The current price has recently dropped significantly to a price of 52 euros. NetApp is listed on the Amsterdam Stock Exchange in the Netherlands. Morning star rating is 3 stars. It really indicates an economic moat that is small, narrow. This is because they are driven by technological solutions within certain growing sectors. The fair value estimate from Morningstar is 63 euros. The Refinitiv ratings indicate that only two analysts are currently following this stock and they give a price target of around 57. The price target range is actually only positive. However, there are only two other analysts. That is not very many. Furthermore, what is notable about NEDAP is that because the price has dropped significantly, the price to earnings ratio has become more attractive. Normally the normal multiple is 18, the price to earnings ratio is 18.7. We see the EPS estimates below. By the way, only from one analyst, so this could turn out very differently. However, it is somewhat in line, and we see that NetApp can currently achieve not only a high dividend of 6% per year, but also price returns. This could result in an average return of 17%. If we look at the historical growth of NetApp based on the adjusted operating earnings, we get a clearer picture because NetApp has a fairly long history on the stock market. Because the price to earnings ratio has recently fallen to an attractive level, the upside potential for long-term investors has become interesting. The normal multiple of NetApp is around 18 and could achieve an average return of about 13% per year over a longer term period, which could actually mean an outperformance of the market. Let's see what happens if the price to earnings ratio is for example 15, then the upside potential is somewhat more modest at 10% per year. If the price to earnings ratio drops to 12, the return is still positive at 6% per year. In principle, this means no price return but only the payment of dividends. So this scenario does not seem very realistic to me as NetApp is taking good steps to develop and grow as a company. And also the historical key AGR estimated at only 5% EPS growth is on the low side. Therefore, I would rather assume a normal scenario where you could still achieve a high average return with this interesting dividend stock. It is more interesting because it scores higher on return on equity. As I said, NetApp has a long company history dating back to 2003 and the return on equity is actually consistently high. Only after the financial crisis was it low but still positive. And in 2015 the return on equity was low. However, since then you can see that in the other years the return on equity is notably high, often above 20%. And that just shows that this company has a quite attractive earning model, a profitable earning model. The current market cap is 340 million euros. The current PE has dropped just below 20. Price to sales is not notably low, but also not expensive. The price to book ratio is somewhat on the higher side. And the enterprise value divided by EBITDA of 11 is relatively low for a company that consistently realizes high return on equity. Furthermore, regarding the debt level, it is all manageable. Total debt to equity is 30%. The exact reason for the short-term price decline is possibly just because what we see in European stocks is that they have all been declining recently, possibly in response to Trump. Well, I don't really believe that is fundamentally the case for NetApp as a company and its business model. So short-term volatility that is not based on fundamental developments can actually be strongly profited from the all-time high was set in 2024. Since then, the stock has declined by 23%. The last resistance level was at 54. Regarding technical analysis, it has been broken as you can see. This is not the right time to buy NetApp. I would wait until the price stabilizes. In it may be that the price stabilizes at this level with a support level that has actually been set since 2018 and just before the coronavirus crisis. That is actually where the last peak was reached. Now the price has currently declined by 23% and historically that is a significant drop for NEDAP. Recently it had also declined by 16%.
Here it's down 16% to 22%. And even actually in that corona crisis, it's only down about 30%. 19% it's down. Then 90% it's down. So historically, declines of 20% for NetApp are not very common and are often significant corrections for a company that currently pays a 6% dividend. So yes, it may be that based on this negative trend, the price could decline further. Only from this price level does NetApp seem really interesting. Keep in mind that the potential return may not be extremely high. However, the risk is also lower. So the return risk profile is interesting. And for dividend investors, you generally want to have a somewhat lower risk. No, this proves to be an interesting high dividend stock at this specific moment.